Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a hashtag and keyword manager in Google Sheets, just like the one you see on your screen. Whether you're managing your content on Instagram, YouTube, or any other platform, this tool will help you keep all your hashtags and keywords organized. Plus, you can easily copy and paste them wherever you need. Step one, setting up. So, Let's start with a blank Google Sheet. Go to Setting. Change Locale to USA because Locale will affect the formula then. I resize our rows and columns to fit the content better. I also adjust the alignment settings to center the text both horizontally and vertically and choose Text Wrapping. Step 2. Create Hashtag Manager. Now let's create the Hashtag Manager. Select two cells, merge them, and name it Hashtag Manager. I will resize column B to 50 and C to 200. Next, I use the sequence function to generate a numbered list. Sequence 50.1. This formula creates a column with numbers from 1 to 50, which we'll use to index our hashtags and keywords. To make everything look clean, select the entire data range and apply borders. Step 3. Create a content pillar. I will resize column D and E. Then, I merge cell E1 and F2, write content pillar. Border this cell with G2 sow. Merge 3 cell E4 and F4 and G4. Now, I'm going to create the content pillar section. Here's, I will add numbering to each content pillar. Now I will explain the formula before entering it into the cell. This formula combines several elements into a single string, adds the number one, then I add a dash to separate the number from the text, and then another space for clarity. Finally, G2 here is the cell that contain the name of the content pillar. You need to change G2 to the one in your spreadsheet. The result is something like one for the content pillar name, making it easy to organize your pillars. Next, I will apply the formula to the cell. I'll try typing Notion here and you'll see that the cell will automatically display one notion. Then I use sequence function again to make a numbered list. I select cells and choose merge. Choose merge horizontally. Border this section to make it clearer. Next, we'll add a drop down menu to each content pillar column to quickly select the appropriate hashtags. Step 4. 
organizing hashtags into groups. I will choose create two new section by merging cells. Now let's dive into the formula that combines all the selected hashtags into a single string. Here's how it works. Concatenate hash text join slash true f5 g34 in the spreadsheet. Here's a breakdown of this formula. Text join. This part of the formula combines text from the selected cells into one string. Each hashtag is separated by a comma and another hashtag. It also ignores any empty cells to keep things tidy. F5 to G34 is the range of cells whose contents will be joined. Please note that the data range needs to be customized based on the structure of your spreadsheet. So the result of this is a single strung where the text from each non-empty cell in the range F5 to G34 is joined together, separated by. Next, I will add concatenate. So the final string starts with a hashtag. Now let's apply this formula to the cell and see the result. Okay, so I will copy the formula and paste it to this section and change the formula a bit here. You just need to simply remove the mesh. Then the result is that the keyword are only separated by. I then copy the formula, paste it into another section, and modify it slightly. In this version, I simply remove the match debouge, so the resulting keywords are only separated by comma. Finally, I copy the entire content pillar and paste it five times. I resize the column slightly. and update the numbering for each content pillar name. Step five, customize our spreadsheet. Finally, let's customize our hashtag manager to make it visually appealing.
I'll use a color palette from Pinterest to decorate the sheet and will extract colors from an image to create a cohesive and stylish design. Show selecting a color palette from Pinterest, applying the colors to the spreadsheet and using the eyedropper tool to extract colors from an image. Now that our hashtag manager is all set up, you can easily select your desired hashtags, copy them, and paste them directly into your social media posts or content planner. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I've also created a detailed guide on how to make a bills calendar complete with a free template. You can check out the video here. Goodbye. See you soon.